Good morning, everybody. How are you doing today? I'm doing so good. It's despite the fact that VidCon is over and I'm still trying to regain my voice from VidProm last night. Today, we are going to Disneyland, which will be my very first time ever and your guys' very first time through me on the Zack Attack channel. So, I am going to pop myself over there, apparate, sorry, to avoid like all the busyness of the streets that there may be. I think I figured out why I keep falling and like getting headaches after I apparate from place to place. I think it's because I'm too powerful for my wand. I might be so much of a potterhead that I don't need Harry's wand to do my magic. So I'm gonna give something, I'm gonna jet over there in a little bit of a different fashion just to see if maybe that's the case. Either way, we're gonna get over there really, really soon. All right. I really, really, really hope this is gonna work since I'm in California and if I get lost on the way over to Disneyland through my operation, I might not be able to get back. So, fingers crossed that this is gonna work. Jeez, are you serious? Man. Alright, um, let's try this. Uh, let's just... Meh. Spinning. Spinning. That's what they do to operate in the movies, so I might as well just spin. Ooh. Okay, apparently not. Alright, um, hmm. Okay, kind of a different thing, but I have seen this work on Wizards of Waverly Place, so maybe this can, uh, maybe this might work for me? Okay. I haven't tried this before, so I don't know if it's gonna happen. And... Yeah. Oh, that, great. That actually worked. Yeah, that's appropriate. See, it makes me feel like I'm like sorcerer's apprentice or something. Oh yeah. I uh, I knew I was confident in my magical skills. Totally, 100%. No doubt whatsoever. I made it to Disneyland! Again, first time ever, and I'm excited. Wow, there's like literally thousands of people in the park already. And I, I don't even know what I'm gonna do first. I mean, I've got Disneyland, I've got California Adventure Park, I got Downtown Disney, which I still actually need to go to to get something to eat and drink because I'm really thirsty and hungry and now I'm just talking non-stop. <gasps> it's gonna be fun. Thankfully, I was able to exit the Disney Park and come back out to the Downtown Disney so I can actually get something to eat. Cream cheese bagel, and I'm trying something different with Starbucks this time around. Got a caramel macchiato as opposed to my normal s'mores frappuccino. It's gonna be a full day, and I'm really glad that I was able to actually get food because I need it. And I also have a bottle of water so I don't get dehydrated as quickly. It's a really hot day. Unfortunately, when we get back into the actual parks, you guys are gonna have to come off my monopod because that whole thing about Disneyland and Disney banning the selfie stick, it's, I'm, I'm still gonna be able to get good footage for you guys, but it's just gonna not be as epic. I hope you guys don't mind. Very first ride I come across while just wandering around Disneyland is Star Tours, which Dan actually recommended, so I gotta go on that. There's about a 20 minute wait time, so it's gonna be around like, I'd say 11.20 before I get in there, but we don't have to do the group photo at California Adventure Park until 1 o'clock, so we got a little bit of time to spare, a bit of, we a bit of leeway. So I'm gonna have some fun before I have to go meet up with everyone that's doing the YouTube takeover.
troopers, what are they doing here? Otto, hit the brakes! It worked! Not this way, Otto! That was really freaking awesome. I knew Dan wouldn't steer me wrong, telling me to go with Star Wars. I'm really glad it was the first stop on my whole Disneyland trip. And now, unfortunately, I have to go back to, well, I don't have to, but I, I'm choosing to go back to the hotel and change it to my VidCon shirt because, A, this is VidCon Disney Takeover Day, so I might as well, like, for the group big group photo, I kind of want to wear it to represent. And B, I saw some stormtroopers walking around just out around the park and I don't feel entirely comfortable like around them without a little bit of protection. So I'm gonna get my sonic screwdriver so I have something to kinda make them wiggle a little bit when they see me coming. So I'm gonna pop back there, change around, and then we'll be right back. There. Uh I'll switch the hat up a little bit. And I left my fan bit glasses on the ride, so I'll have to use my aviators. There we go, all set. Let's head back to Disneyland. There we go, back in the element, properly prepared with VidCon and Trixen. I don't always use magic to get to Disneyland, but when I do, I do it in style. I think now we're going to go check out the California Adventure Park before, I mean there's a, yeah there's like an hour still until we have to take the big VidCon photo, but I'd rather go and check out California Park now as opposed to later, and I'm also going to get one of those park maps so I don't get lost. I just experienced how serious they are about that monopod rule. I was going through security like I did before, and like before, Buddy let me through no problem. But this time, Buddy like looks at my bag, and pulls out my monopod, he's like, what's this? And I said, that's my monopod, I'm gonna keep it in the bag. And Buddy still takes it out, and he's like, no, okay, we, we have to keep that here. And I said, even if I'm gonna keep it in the bag? And he's like, yeah. So, it's in Lost and Found now, and I'm just gonna have to go pick it up at the end of the day which he said might take a while because they keep pulling so many. But I, I guess I kind of understand, that's a trolley car. I guess I kind of understand the need to be so like cracked down on it. Everyone's getting ready to take the mass VidCon photo at Paradise Pier, and there are a lot of people. It's like, holy moly. I expect you guys to want to be in the shot too, so I'll see if I can like hold my camera up so you guys can virtually be in the shot. He's like, hey. I see him taking it from above. No guarantees you guys got in the picture, but I did my best. Jumped when it was on like one, two, three. Had my sonic screwdriver in the air with my red tricks and hat. So I wanna say I possibly had success. Now's the time of the day when the parade starts. Woo! This one is. What's Did you this? play the drums? What, what is this? It's like playing Disney Parade? Okay. Well, I will admit the music's pretty bumping. That's what the, that's one thing they got going for it. <laughs> rock it, Ori. Just rock it out. Everybody party! I'm really, really surprised my voice did not crack so fast. Yay! Woo! Feels for the genie! 
something to eat thank you You're welcome. and we've just been told that the wharf is probably the best place to go because this world of color thing is about to start that kind of like combines lights and water and like a big fantastic show that's what everyone here is all uh, that's what everyone here is all grouped around and lined up for so and look at look at it look at Disneyland at night like it looks really really it's beautiful so pretty. everything is so pretty so we're gonna go on down to the wharf and see if we can find somewhere to eat. And we we have Ori in a wheelchair because her legs were hurting really bad, and yeah. she's had I had surgery a few yeah, years ago. Yeah, she's had some surgery going on in the past, so there's a bit of a medical condition. I really hope we're gonna be able to find something good to eat, and then we'll be able to catch the rest of the World of Color. And then after that, we have the fireworks. Yay, fireworks! Woo! I see the electrical parade because that is something you can't miss. Yeah, I got I got to see everything that I can before we're uh, before I fly back home tomorrow. So that's gonna be fun. Yay. Yeah. Tonight it's my true honor to pay tribute to a very special man, Walt Disney, a man whose legacy continues to bring smiles and laughter to millions around the world. You see, Walt had a dream. In fact, he had many dreams, and in his lifetime, he saw them come true.
What did you guys think of that? What was it? The color show? World of Color. World of Color and the fireworks display. Way better than anything in my town or in the town over. They were just really, really cool. That, of course, is how you end off Disney Day. VidCon Disney Takeover. I'm gonna spend a little more time with Ori. Yay! And then I'll have to go back to the hotel and finish packing everything and get ready to go home in the morning. I have to be up very early. Then I will have to catch the shuttle, go to the airport, get checked in, and I will be on my way back to Nova Scotia. Yay! So. Yeah, I'm sorry. She, she's going to be going back to Israel at some time. No, so. uh, well, at some time. I mean, yeah. we have less than a month in America, so I'm taking the Megamas tomorrow morning to San Jose, which is where I'll be staying at for the next week. Right on. Well, definitely, Ori, I want to thank you for being my little assistant vlogger for a couple of those clips. Thank you guys for tuning in and checking out my channel. If this is the first time you've been, you're watching me, because I think I got a few new subscribers since this is my first time yeah for sure and not my last <laughs> oh thank you but if you are new and you just came from vidcon hey there i'm zach i make videos on sundays and thursdays in the like in the fandom niche and vlogs and i do that as a way to spread my message about encouraging and encouraging youth like school age to express themselves and not let people tell them that they're wrong. Again, thanks for hanging out guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!